guys, if you don't know me, my name is Sierra and I am a fourth year medical student. This morning I took my last shelf exam and finished my third year of med school and I cannot believe it. And now I have six weeks until I take step two. So if you are new here and have not seen my previous videos, go check out my step one dedicated videos. I'll put a link. That schedule works really well for me and so I'm hoping that if I do something very similar for step two that I'll also do very well on that. So as I did last time, I am going to be using Cram Fighter to organize my study schedule. So I'm adding in my resources. I'm going to be using UWorld, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna try to do about 100 questions a day. All right, next I am using Online Med Ed. Oh jeez, that's a lot. And I'm going to be using First aid for step two. I'm going to be factoring in Anki this time since I didn't put that in my schedule for step one and regretted it. So I'm going to put in a hundred new cards every day. All right, so that has me at seven, about seven and a half hours a day. I'm going to sort it by system and I'm going to put it in the order of first aid. So I'm just doing first aid cover to cover. Here we go. This is the official schedule. So this is what it's gonna look like every day. So here is my schedule. It's very similar to my step one schedule. I just made a few changes. I'm gonna try to do 40 year old questions in the morning, watch some online med ed, do some Anki, go through first aid, and then a bunch more UWorld questions. A lot of people have said to focus more on UWorld for step two, so I'm going to try to get a lot more year world done than I did for step one. Um, and I'm going to try to do practice exams on Mondays. And then in these different tabs, I have different resources. I've only put the first two weeks in. The rest of the stuff is left over from step one. But I have it color-coded by subject. And these are the pages in first day that I'm studying every day. This tab is online med ed videos, which you can see is a lot some days. And then I have a tab for my practice test scores. This is left over from step one. That's where I'll record all of those. And I know I said the same thing when I was making my schedule for step one, but this looks like so much work. And I would say I don't know if I can do all this, but that's exactly what I said for step one, and I did it pretty well. So I can do it. Good morning. guys, today is Monday and it's officially my first day of Step 2 Dedicated. So I'm planning on doing practice tests every Monday, um, except for today of course because it's the first day. But on Cram Fighter you can't choose specific days to have lighter loads, it's just like every Monday. Um, so I don't have any specific content review to do today, so I'm just gonna try to do some Anki cards and like three blocks of UWorld, um, and I've been working on this research paper I'm trying to get published, so I still have a good amount of work to do today. step one because that one is like the easier practice test um 
um, so I'm hoping that this one's a little more accurate at like predicting my score. Even though it's super early, I'm only like a week into dedicated. But yeah, I'm happy with that and hope that it's just up from here. So today I'm trying to be productive and stick to my study schedule. Um, it's just been hard because I'm also working on a research project right now and I'm putting so many hours into that that I'm just like exhausted and not wanting to study. Like I'm staying up to like 1 or 2 a.m. every night working on that project and so I'm just like exhausted. But I'm hopefully gonna have that finished in the next couple of days. So I'll be really ready for that to get done and then hopefully I can stick to my dedicated schedule a little better. So today is Friday of week two. Um, we have a clinical skills assessment today. So we're seeing six standardized patients back to back and having to write notes on them. And all we have to do is pass. But yeah, I don't really know how I could have studied for it. So I didn't because it can be basically anything. So yeah, wish me luck. Monday of week four, so I am now officially halfway through dedicated. I cannot believe it. So today I am doing NBME 10. Um, I'm about halfway through it now. I did NBME 9 last week, um, and I got like 251, but that one seemed really hard. This one definitely is a little bit easier, but still hoping I do a lot better on this one. the material already and like 3,000 year old questions. Um, I know I'm not going to be able to do all of them and no one ever does so that's fine but I'll be so glad to be done. Hey guys it is Monday and step is this week and I mean I guess I'm ready for I feel like at this point there's not that much more I can do either way, so. But I'm finishing up some online medicine stuff right now. Just like some random videos about like epidemiology and stuff that I've never really watched before. But the rest of this week I'm just going to be reviewing stuff, doing a lot of UWorld, um, going through like the incorrect questions on UWorld and my notes from like when I was going through first aid I was writing out stuff that Also planning on doing U World Self Assessment 2 tomorrow and then the NBME 3 120 on Wednesday. Um, so hopefully those will give you a good idea of roughly how I'll do all of my tests. But yeah, it's really getting down to it. step two tomorrow honestly I'm just ready for it to be over because like 
this is my last exam in med school. After this, I won't have to study anymore. It's gonna be so nice. So I'm just ready to be done. <laughs> I've been working so hard and I mean, my practice test scores have been fine, so I'm not like too scared. So today I, I did do a block of you all questions um, and I think I'm about like 92 or 93% done with you world. Um, so I'm just, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get through all of it, so it's fine. Um, but I think I'm just gonna stop with you world. And I'm going to review some stuff in first aid and listen to the Divine Intervention podcasts. Those have been a lifesaver. <laughs> I've learned so much from those podcasts and it's so nice that I can just listen to them while like doing laundry or cooking or going for a walk or whatever. Um, so I highly recommend those. Um, so I'm going to be listening to some of those today, reviewing some stuff in first aid reviewing some notes from stuff I wasn't super familiar with, um, but yeah, that's about it. I've, like, cleaned my whole apartment, like, deep clean while listening to the podcast, because I just don't want to sit down and read through first aid and do flashcards. Just not feeling it. Like, eight systems left in first aid to just, like, skim over. Honestly, the only way that I can, like, motivate myself to stay focused is, like, setting a timer or stopwatch and trying to, like, read as much as I can in a minute or, like, try to read, like, one page per minute or something like that. Um, because otherwise I'll just get distracted and take all day. I also really wanted to go out and take a nice relaxing walk. Um, while listening to the podcast, but it's like cloudy and gross and kind of drizzly outside, so. It's clean, I got a candle burning, I got a Pop-Tart and coffee, and first aid. Oh, here we go. So it's about 10 o'clock now. Um, I skimmed over some stuff in first aid, I went for a nice little walk while listening to that podcast, which was nice, um, and then I wrote down on a piece of paper all the things that I'm not, like, like, little details that I didn't really know, like, some medication that I haven't heard of. That's probably not going to come up on the test, but it'd be good to know. And, yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to review that piece of paper in the morning, um, maybe do some flashcards before I go, but yeah, I already packed food and stuff, so... Here we go! Test day is finally here. It's like 6 a.m. Um, I'm gonna eat breakfast, drink some coffee, and probably just like review some flashcards or something. In 12 hours, I'm gonna be done with tests for the rest of med school. And that's a really great feeling. Alright, guys, I'm here. Right, I have my food, water, coffee. I'm wearing a sweatshirt because it's less things I have to carry. I'm gonna have my hands full. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I'm doing this. But anyway, so nine hours starts in like 20 minutes. I can do it. I can do it. I'll be fine. See you on the other side. It's over! I'm so tired. It was eight blocks long, so it's like 5.30 now. So it's been, it's been over nine hours. Yeah, it was very long. I used not even all of my break time, but I finished most of the blocks like five to 10 minutes early. So I did get like some extra break time for that. But yeah, I did it. I cannot believe I'm done with the test for the rest of my school. But I am so dreaded. <sighs> it's over. Hey guys, so it's been a little bit 
since I took STEP, and I can confirm that it's amazing not having to study. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and watching me suffer through studying for six weeks. Um, if you did, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned to see a score reveal, hopefully. Thanks for watching.